My mom and dad always assured me there were no such thing as monsters. But I knew they were wrong. I lived with this terror till my eighth birthday, when my mom said I should have a sleepover party like my friends before me. My grandpa always said to answer the strange, look to the more strange. And the strangest kid in all of Wandland Heights public school was this wormy little boy named Herskel Fishmasher. Hi. Hi. I'll invite you to my sleepover if you do me a favor. Does it have anything to do with the monsters around you? How did you know? You're one of those blue aura people. You guys always have monsters around you. Yeah, it's got something to do with that. I'll help you. But you have to promise to be my best friend. The price was high, but my need was desperate. <sighs> okay. Be my best friend if you don't want to. No, that's okay. Those guys are weenies anyway. <gasps> it smells like dead cats. What does? Nothing. The monster's upstairs. Okay. Like I thought, you've got a succubus under there. A succubus? Yep. You better get her out before your sleepover, or she'll eat off everybody's head. Sure. I can make a trap for you, if you have the right stuff. I told my mom we needed stuff for a science experiment. She said as long as we weren't playing video games, it was okay. so she can never escape. Can we just keep it in my closet? Why? Well, maybe when I'm a teenager, I might want an almost totally bare naked lady living under my bed again. Then we played with my figures until it was time for her school fish masher to go home. Before he left, my mom put foot powder in his shoes to stop the stink. Mm -hmm. 